uh, a very long solenoid of circular cross section with radius a or small radius of solenoid is given which has number of turns uh, small n number of turns per, per unit length of the wire an electron is sitting outside of solenoid so we have electron as you can see sitting on the top of the solenoid at a distance of capital r uh, from the solenoid axis which is from the center what is the magnitude of the force on the electron while the current in the solenoid is ramped up at the rate of 45 amperes per second okay uh, now the electron sitting we have a magnetic field current is ramping up we have to find the force on that electron the first of all uh, that we have a formula which can define the force that is acting on the charge which is f is equal q e right now the key is well known of the electron charge which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 column okay now how can we find electric field uh the formula for that one which is emf is equal e times 2 pi r okay then that is also equal to the df divided by dt correct now df is equal to the uh, dba divided by dt okay now the b is equal to what r e is constant it's not changing uh so so b is equal to the mu naught number of turns per unit length r e is constant and we have i so i is changing current so that means i put here di over dt okay then uh then you can say that it's so emf was basically equal to that one and we came to that formula and then here we can say that electric field is equal mu naught n area of the solenoid di divided by 2 pi r this is our distance where an electron is located divided by dt okay uh the area is equal to what here so the mu naught and area is pi small r squared di divided by 2 pi capital r dt so that's it uh, di over dt is given uh, small r is given radius of the solenoid uh, pi is given n is given mu naught is given and the uh, capital r is also given so if you plug the numbers and you can find electric field and, and electric field you have to multiply to the charge where it's 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 and you will get the force that is acting on the electron